climate change basically um, is is a is a game changer. It's no longer we could assume that that the future is going to look like the past. Actually, we are. I mean, it's being now quite uh, accepted broadly that the future is going to be different. The future is going to change. Even if we take significant mitig mitigation efforts, there is going to be still a level of climate change that we are going to have to adapt to. Something that distinguishes my work from many others is, is we don't tend to focus on global climate per se, but we tend to focus on climate processes at the regional scale mm -hmm. and understand how global climate change may impact regional climates. Address things like how climate change is going to impact agriculture in the American Midwest. Uh, how climate change is going to impact the availability of water in the Nile River Basin how climate change may impact malaria incidence and transmission in West Africa. In a way, we provide a bridge between what the global models are projecting as going to be significant changes in the future to phenomena and uh, processes that are really uh, important for society. I think the general picture is you have communities in Africa and in Asia that do not have the capacity to adapt to climate change. Actually, they don't have the capacity to even adapt to climate variability and, and deal with climate variability. And climate change would add another layer of challenges. And, and, and those societies are not ready to basically adapt to those. It offers um, um, great opportunities for young people who are looking to make careers uh, studying the environment, studying climate system, and doing that in ways that really could have significant impacts on society uh, that, that would really make a difference in terms of um, improving the ability of the human society to um, live in sustainable ways and to be able to uh, utilize resources and conserve them for future generations at the same time.